With boldness, let us approach the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace as a timely help. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your spirit, O Lord, we pray, in view, in view us pow powerfully with spiritual gifts, that he may give us a mind pleasing to you, and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. from the Acts of the Apostles. We seem to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him, and he ordered the chief of priests and the whole of St. Henry to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called it out before the St. Henry, my brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees said that there was no resurrection, or angels, or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledged all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisees' party stood up and sharply asked, We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and taking him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my call in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's console your son. Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. <clears throat> Keep me, O oh God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, are you? O oh Lord, you my Lord portion and my cup. You, it is a full holy fast, my Lord. Keep, Keep me safe, O oh God, God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me, even in the night my heart exalts me. I set the Lord ever before me, with him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul. 
to the nether world, nor will you suffer your faithful ones undergo corruption. Keep he me safe, O God, God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joy in your presence, the delight at your right hand forever. Keep, Keep me, me safe, O God, God, you are my hope. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you loved them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known. May the love with which you loved me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> My brothers and sisters, today in our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we see what we might term the beginning of the final persecution of St. Paul. In uh, Jerusalem, he is brought before the Sanhedrin um, to determine uh, if what he is saying and uh, its, its value or its condemnation by them. And Paul says to the Sanhedrin, I am being persecuted because I am my belief in the resurrection of the dead. Now, Paul, I'm sure, very, very wisely knew that when he said that, it would cause a conflict because the Pharisees and the Sadducees differ, as we hear on those beliefs. The Sadducees do not believe in the resurrection or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees, of which Paul was one, believe in all those things. And so a dispute arises, and Paul has to be taken out uh, from the midst of that uh, disruption for, to protect him. Uh, and is warned then by our Lord that just as he has given witness there, so he will do so in Rome. And we know, of course, that St. Paul will end up in Rome, and after some confinement there for a period of time, will actually give his life in martyrdom there, as did St. Peter uh, in the city of Rome, in witness to Jesus. And so we recognize that Paul is aware of that along with his proclamation of the gospel will come persecution and rejection, and in his case, even physical martyrdom for the glory of the name of Jesus. But I'm sure St. Paul took great consolation in the words of Jesus that we hear today in the Gospel of St. John from the great priestly prayer of Jesus at the Last Supper, in which he prayed for those who would be his followers who would proclaim the good news, and for all who would believe through them. And so we hear that prayer strongly prayed by Jesus, <clears throat> that I'm sure St. Paul took great consolation and strength from in his life. And so we too should take great consolation and strength from that prayer of Jesus. For by extension, we are part of that prayer. For those
those who would believe and those who would continue to proclaim the good news of the Lord down through the ages. Each one of us is a believer. And each one of us in baptism is called to proclaim the good news of Jesus by the witness of our lives, by the way we live. Perhaps not so much by preaching it, but indeed by living it. And in the choices we make, in the things we do, and in the things we avoid, we, we proclaim our belief in Jesus in an uncompromising way. Perhaps the greatest challenge for us today in our modern culture is not so much physical martyrdom, although that, could, that is happening too, as we know throughout the world, and Lord knows it may eventually happen here too, but we are indeed rejected at times and ridiculed, and our religious liberty is threatened because of our proclamation uh, in an uncompromising way of the gospel values that Jesus taught. We see that beautiful example in St. Paul and in all the apostles and all those who have gone before us. And we too in baptism are called by the way we live our life to proclaim in an uncompromising way the truth of our faith that is not um, dependent on cultural beliefs or on what's going on in this way or in that way throughout the world. Uh, we know that the world in very many ways is living in darkness by the choices it makes. We are children of light. Uh, and it's, that's what's said to us in, on our baptismal day. We are children of the light, the light of Christ. And as St. Paul let that light show brightly through his life, so too we are called to let it show through our lives as well, recognizing that Jesus, in his prayer, prayed for us as well, and walks with us this day in the midst of all of our challenges and struggles, in the midst of the world situation as it is in right now. And we never let fear, anxiety, or doubt compromise the strength of our faith. For Jesus is with us. Seeking to lead lives that give glory and praise to God, let us offer our prayers to the Father. O Papa Francis, may the Lord continue to serve for God and be guided to him as he shepherds us in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the grace of God be perfect in them a desire for doing his will in their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For countries suffering from effects of civil war or conflict, May the Prince of Peace grant to them a lasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us in this community, may the Lord bless us and sustain us in our lives of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be greeted this day by the risen Christ and all the angels in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Elizabeth Kaiser and Leonard Wade, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our special petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Most gracious God, hear the prayers we offer this day. We ask through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember now your charge spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together the Francis, our Pope, our Fred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling away for the hope of the resurrection and all of them in the mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Commence on us all of you praying that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints of history throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, <coughs> who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, Lord, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I go. For if I do not go away, the paraclete will not come to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. A prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring, and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The prayer to combat the corona pandemic. Most merciful and triune God, we come to you in our weakness, we come to you in our fear, we come to you with trust, for you alone are our hope. We place before you the disease present in our world. We turn to you in our time of need. Bring wisdom to doctors, give understanding to scientists, endow caregivers with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill, Protect those who are most at risk. Give comfort to those who have lost a loved one. Welcome those who have died in your eternal home. Stabilize our communities. Unite us in our compassion. Remove all fear from our hearts. Fill us with confidence in your care. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Thank you for praying with us today during this Mass. We continue to pray for each other and ask the Lord to strengthen us as we continue uh, each day in our journey of faith. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. 